Hello sa iyong nanonood. Ako si Rose Analas at nandito tayo para sa discussion video tungkol sa integrals involving inverse trig and hyperbolic trig. So bago tayo magsimula, dahil ito ay discussion video, dapat napanood mo na yung lecture video tungkol sa topic na to para alam mo kung ano yung nangyayari. Okay. So itong mga nakasulat dito, 1 to 7, ito, yan yung mga sasagutan natin sa video na ito. So, as much as possible, mas maganda kung sasagutan mo muna ito, i-pause mo muna yung video, tapos sagutan mo muna yung mga tanong na ito. Try mo muna kung kaya mo. Tapos, pagkatapos, tsaka mo ituloy yung panonood para ma-check kung tama yung nagawa mo or kung hindi mo talaga kaya para malaman kung paano gawin. Okay? Tapos, itong nasa right side ng iyong screen, ayan, ito yung mga importanteng formula tungkol dun sa inverse trig. Integrals involving inverse trig. Kung makikita mo, ito yung mga alam nating integrals. Kaya mamaya, ito yung mga target nating form. Itong tatlong ito. 1, 2, and 3. Okay? So, simulan na natin. Again, mas maganda kung uh, simulan mo munang sagutan itong mga ito bago ka mag-proceed sa panonood nitong video na ito. Okay? Next. So, unahin na natin itong itong question number 1. So again, ang target natin ay itong form na ito. Kinopy-paste ko lang para maalala natin. So ito yung target nating form yung nasa left side. Yung u, yan yung mga, yan dapat yung variable, yung a constant yan. So mapapansin natin, ano kaya yung ano kaya itsura to? Dahil may t plus 3 dito sa denominator, parang siya itong u na ito. Itong second form, no? Okay. So, try natin isulat as u squared minus a squared itong nasa loob ng square root. Kasi kung nagawa na natin yun, alam na natin kung saan equal yung integral. Okay. So, ang first step, again, gagawin natin of the form u squared minus a squared. So, ang gagawin natin, i-complete natin yung square nito. So, paano mag-complete ng square? Again, recall, i-divide mo lang by 2 yung 6 tapos squared. So, divide by 2, that's 3 squared, that's 9. So, we have 60, tapos add 9. Dahil nag-add ka ng 9, dapat mag-subtract ka din ng 9. Minus 7, minus 7, galing dito. Okay? So, this will be equal to t plus 3 squared. Yung t plus 3 squared, ito yon. So, minus 9, minus 7, that is minus 16. Ngayon, this is already of the form u squared minus a squared. Kasi, ito yung u mo, t plus 3, tapos a squared mo, yun yung 16. So, sulat na lang natin. So, that is t plus 3 squared minus 4 squared. So, para mas malino sa inyo, mag u substitution tayo. So, we let u be equal to t plus 3. If u is equal to t plus 3, so therefore, du is equal to derivative ng t plus 3 is dt. Okay. Tapos, i-substitute lang natin dun sa given expression. So, therefore, the given expression now will be equal to 1 over again, t plus 3 here is equal to u. So, we have u square root of itong expression na t squared plus 60 minus 7. Ito na siya, di ba? So, we have t plus 3 that is u squared minus 4 squared. Sulat na natin na 4 squared para mas madaling makita na siya yung a. Okay. dt here is equal to du. So, ibig sabihin, papalitan mo lang siya. du. Okay? So, take note kapag nag-change ka ulit ng variable, kailangan wala nang naiwan na t. Dapat lahat in terms of u na. Okay? So, now, this will be equal to Ito na, nakuha na natin yung gusto nating form. This is of the form, itong pangalawang ito. So, 1 over u, square root of u squared minus a squared du, that is now equal to 1 over a. 1 over a, but our a here for this case is 4. Secant, inverse of u over a, again, a here is 4, plus the constant c. 
Again, hindi pa ito yung final answer kasi kailangan natin ibalik doon sa original na variable na gusto natin. So, this will be equal to 1 fourth secant inverse of u, but u is equal to t plus 3. So, we have t plus 3 over 4 plus c. Okay? Tapos, ito na yung ating sagot. Madali pa lang siya kasi very direct pa lang. Again, pag nagsasolve tayo ng inverse trig, integral involving inverse trig, ito yung tatlo na kailangan nating yung goal natin na itsura ng ating integral. Kasi again, alam na natin kung ano yung integral nila. So let us now move on to the second example. Let us again consider consider this expression, secant squared over 1 plus 16 tangent squared d dt. Okay? Copy-paste ko lang ulit yung target natin para hindi natin makalimutan. So, ano dyan yung kamuka ng ating target? Tignan mo lang lagi yung denominator kasi yung denominator, yung numerator dun sa target natin, lagi lang naman 1. No? So, tignan mo lang yung denominator. So, since wala yung square root, dito tayo magpa-fall under sa first case. Yung 1 over u squared plus a squared. Ano yung u natin for this case? Ano, yung, ano dapat yung naka-square? So, we let u be equal to, kunin mo lang yung square root nitong 16 tangent squared t. So, ang square root nyan ay 4 tangent t. If u is equal to 4 tangent t, ibig sabihin kapag ginawa mo tong square, so, ibig sabihin nyan, u squared will be equal to 16 tangent squared t. Ito siya mismo. Okay? Um, after getting u, kunin natin yung derivative. Derivative of u is du. Derivative of 4 tangent t is equal to 4 secant squared t dt. Okay? Huwag kalimutan yung dt. Importante yung role ng dt dyan. Hindi yan basta display lang. Okay? Kaya yun may mga ganyang examples or yung mga may ganyang problem. So, nyo munang pansinin yung secant squared t kasi usually nagiging part lang sila nung du. Okay? So, substitution si secant squared t dt saan equal? Itong expression na ito equal siya sa du over 4. So, ibig sabihin itong part na ito pwede nating palitan ng du over 4. So, meron kang du over 4 or 1 fourth times du times 1 over we have 1 plus 16 tangent squared t is equal to u squared plus u squared. Okay? So, ibig sabihin we have the expression ayusin ko lang itong konti para malinaw sa inyo 1 over 1 plus u squared Yung 1 fourth, pwede natin ilabas kasi constant lang siya. D u. Okay? Tapos itong integral na to, nandun yan sa formula na gusto natin, itong unang ito. So therefore, this will be equal to 1 fourth. San galing 1 fourth? Ito. Okay. Times integral of 1 over 1 plus u squared is equal to 1 over a. But a for our case is 1. Tangent inverse of u over a. Again, a is 1, so u na lang ito. Tangent inverse of u plus c. Again, hindi pa ito yung final answer natin, no? Mali pala ako, dapat wag nyo munang ilagay yung plus c na yan. Ilagay nyo na lang yung plus c kapag naibalik nyo na dun sa uh, variable na gusto natin, which is for this case, t. Okay, so this will be 1 fourth tangent inverse of u, but u is equal to 4 tangent t plus c. And this is now our answer. Okay? So, again, ganun lang yung ginawa natin. Ginawa lang natin of this form. Pili ka lang dyan. Ano yung sa tingin mong magiging form niya? Okay? Proceed tayo sa third example. Let us consider this cosecant squared 
cube root of x dx all over the cube root of x squared times 4 plus cotangent squared cube root of x cubed. Again, ganun ulit. Parang wag mo mo nang pansinin si cosecant squared cube root of x. Kasi, baka, mapunta lang din siya dun sa du. Okay. I-paste ko lang ulit yung goal natin na form. Okay. Ano sa tingin nyo yung form na yan? Aha. Again, ganun ulit. Walang square root dito sa denominator na ito. Kaya, malamang sa malamang, itong una, yung u squared plus a squared. Pero ano yung u mo? Yung u, again, perfect square dapat na function. So, ang candidate mo na lang ay si cotangent. Cotangent of the cube root of x. So, we let u be equal to 4 plus cotangent, ay, sorry, again, cotangent lang. Sorry, mali. Si cotangent lang. Cotangent cube root of x. Okay? If uh, this is u, what is your du? Okay? Derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. Kopya lang yung cube root of x. Okay? Times, chain rule, derivative ng cube root of x is one-third cube root of x squared. Okay. Tama ba? O, oh, mukha naman. Dx. Again, huwag kakalimutan si dx. Importante yung role ng dx dyan. Para makapag-substitute tayo ng maayos. Okay. So, substituting, palitan natin yung mga nandun sa taas. Si cosecant squared cube root of x at saka ito, yung nasa denominator, cube root of x squared, ito yan. Ito. Tsaka ito, sama mo si dx, si dx, yan. O saan yan equal ngayon? I-transpose mo ngayon tong one third dun sa kabila, pati yung negative sign. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga nakabilog, equal yan sa negative 3 du. Okay? Transpose lang dun. Uh, divided by 4 plus Si cotangent squared cube root of x equal siya sa ngayon kay u squared. Okay. Yung negative 3, pwede nating ilabas lang yan. Negative 3 integral of du over 4 plus u squared. This is now of the form ito, 1 over u squared plus a squared. So, therefore, its integral is equal to 1 over a tangent inverse of u over a plus c. So, this is negative 3 times 1 over a. But for this case, a is the square root of 4. So, we have 2. Tangent inverse of u over a. Again, a is 2. Plus Oh, well, mamaya na yung plus C. Balik muna natin siya in terms of X. So, this will be equal to negative 3 over 2. Tangent inverse of U is equal to cotangent cube root of X divided by 2. Lagay na natin yung plus C. Plus C. And this is now our final answer. Madali pa siya. Kasi again, very direct eh. Pag kinuha mo yung derivative, lumalabas agad yung mga extra terms. Okay. So, let us now proceed to the fourth example. Fourth example is here. Again, i-paste ko lang yung target natin para alam natin kung anong gusto nating form. Ayan. So, merong square root sa loob. Ay, merong square root sa denominator. So, pili tayo ngayon ano yung target nating form. So, hindi na pwede yung una. Kasi walang square root yan. Yung pangalawa, pwede ba yung pangalawa? Hindi rin pwede kasi dapat merong u sa labas. Dapat meron kang function sa labas ng square root. Pero dito wala ka namang, wala namang nasa labas ng square root. So, hindi rin pwede yan. So, baka pwede, eto, yung pangatlo. Wala namang ibang option. Try natin isulat ngayon in terms of 1 over the square root of a squared minus u squared. So, ganun ulit. Ang una natin gagawin is to complete the square. Okay? Kasi kailangan mo ng constant squared minus 
function squared. So, kailangan mo ng function na naka-square. Okay? Completing the square, uh, ito nalilito ako kapag may negative sign yung x squared. Kaya, ang ginagawa ko dyan, fina-factor out ko muna yung negative. So, sulat ko muna as negative x squared minus 8x. Ayan. So, yan, equal pa rin yan dun sa original. Pag dinistribute mo yung negative sign. Okay. Tapos yung nasa loob, yan ngayon yung i-complete ko yung square. So, I have negative. So, x squared, negative 8 divided by 2, that is negative 4. Squared, so 16. Minus 8x plus 16. Dahil nag-add ka ng 16, magma-minus ka ngayon ulit ng 16. Para equal pa rin yung dalawang expression na yan. Okay. Next, completing the square. Yung negative sign, huwag nyo munang pansinin. So, yung x squared minus 8x plus 16, that will be equal to x minus 4 squared, tapos minus 16. So, kapag na-complete mo na yung square, tsaka mo ngayon i-distribute yung negative sign. So, that will be uh, 16 minus x minus 4 squared. Ayan. Then, distribute lang natin yung negative sign. So, ibig sabihin, itong 8x minus x squared, equal lang pala siya sa 16 minus x minus 4 squared. O, ano nang meron tayo? Na, napalabas na natin ngayon yung form na a squared minus u squared na nasa loob ng square root. Okay. So, isulat natin in that form. So, substitution. Ay, hindi pa tayo nagsasubstitute. Tayo isusulat lang natin. x divided by the square root of 16 minus x minus 4 squared dx. Again, ano pa lang yung ginawa natin? Ang ginawa pa lang natin ay kinomplete yung square nitong 8x minus x squared. Okay. Ngayon, ang problema natin, yung dun sa formula, dapat 1 lang yung nasa exponent. Ay, nasa exponent. Nasa numerator. Kaya lang, for our case, hindi lang siya 1. Siya ay x. Pero i-try na natin. Let u be equal to x minus 4. Kasi yun yung goal natin. Yung u, yun yung function na naka-square. For our case, yung x minus 4, yun yung naka-square. Okay, so let u be equal to x minus 4. du will be equal to dx. Tama? Okay, huwag muna pansinin yung x na yan. Substituting, anong mangyayari? Okay, x dx, lagay mo muna, uh, x du. Bakit may du? Kasi yung dx, pinalitan na natin ng du. Divided by the square root of 16 minus u squared. Pwede ba yan? Hindi pwede yan. Yan yung reminder natin kanina. Na dapat, kapag nagpalit ka na ng variable, dapat lahat ng luma mong variable, wala na matatanggal. So, ang gagawin mo, titignan mo ulit ito, Tapos, yan yung gagamitin mo para mapalitan itong x na ito. Ibig sabihin, dito na tayo, hindi na kasya. Yung x, dahil u is equal to x minus 4, san equal si x? Si x ay equal kay u plus 4. So, therefore, yung ating integral ngayon magiging u plus 4 divided by square root of 16 minus u squared d u. Ayan. Uh, ganun pa rin. Mayroon pa rin problema kasi dito sa gusto natin, constant lang yung nasa taas. Pero for our case, mayroon pa rin naiwan na u. Anong gagawin natin? Ang gagawin natin, I think mayroon ganitong example sa lecture slides. Ang gagawin natin, hahatiin natin ngayon yung fraction na yan. Magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang magkaibang integral. So, yung isa, you have u over the square root of 16 minus u squared, du, plus 4 over square root of 16 minus u squared, du. Okay. Dito sa pangalawang integral na ito, wala na tayong problema dyan. Kasi, ito mismo yan. 
Kasi yung 4, pwede mo na lang ilabas dito, magiging 1 na lang yan over square root of a squared minus u squared du, na magiging equal lang sa sine inverse. No? Ito naman, ma'am, ito, paano to Yung una. Naku. Uh, wala naman tayong ibang alam, kundi substitution method ulit. Mag-u-u substitution ulit tayo. So, ang gagawin natin, we will let u bar be equal to yung nasa loob mismo, 16 minus u squared. Ma'am, bakit yung 16 minus u squared? Bakit hindi yung u squared lang? Para mas simple yung expression, ganun lang yun. Kasi yung derivative ng 16 minus u squared at saka ng u squared, pareho lang gagawing negative 2u du. Okay? Lubos-lubosin nyo na. Sa sama nyo na yung constant na yan. Ma'am, paano nyo nalaman na yan yung gagawin nating u? Ano ah, na lang yan? Dapat, malalaman nyo na lang yan. Kakasagot, kakasagot. Ma magsasawa kayo. Unang tingin nyo pa lang. Alam nyo na na yun yung gagawing u. Yun yung gagawing u. Okay? So, 16 minus u squared negative 2u. So, again, ang sa substitute lang natin ay itong first expression lang. Kasi itong second expression dito, tapos na yan. Alam na natin yung sagot dyan. So, this will be equal to cu du. Cu du. Saan siya equal? Sa du bar over negative 2. So, ibig sabihin meron tayong integral ng du bar over negative 2 times 1 over the square root of 16 minus u squared is u bar. Square root of u bar. Okay. Tapos itong pangalawa, again, alam na natin yan kasi that is just equal to 4. Ilabas lang natin sa 4. 1 over the square root of 16 minus u squared du. Again, yung substitution natin kay u bar ginamit lang natin dun sa first expression, hindi dun sa pangalawa. Okay? Tapos ito, square root of u bar na lang yan. Saan na lang yan equal? 1 over negative 2, integral of, integral na lang to na exponential, equal na lang yan sa negative 1 half du bar. Sorry. u bar raised to negative 1 half du bar, plus ang integral nito ngayon ay 4, Oh, wala, walang over. Sine inverse of u over a. Ano yung a natin? 4. Kasi 16. So, square root of 16, we have 4. Okay. Tapos, ito, equal na lang yan sa 1 over negative 2. U, raise, u bar raised to negative 1 half. So, kapag nag-integrate, integrate tayo ng exponential, di ba? Add 1 lang. So, magiging equal sa u bar, add 1. So, we have negative 1 half plus 1, that's positive 1 half, divided by the new exponent, which is 1 half. Plus 4 sine inverse of u, copy na lang. Okay. Tapos, ang huli nating step ay simplify na lang, tapos ibalik natin dun sa original variable na x. So, this will be equal to uh, ito, makakancel dito. So, meron ka na lang negative u bar raised to 1 half. u bar is 16 minus u squared. So, 16 minus u squared. But u squared is equal to x minus 4 squared. Saan to galing? Yung 1 half, ginawa ko lang square root. Yung u bar, Equal siya saan? Ito. 16 minus u squared. 16 minus u squared. U is equal to x minus 4. Ito. X minus 4. Plus 4 sine inverse of, again, u is equal to x minus 4. All over 4. And don't forget your plus c. Okay, and that's the final answer. So, we have negative square root of 16 minus x minus 4 squared plus 4 sine inverse of x minus 4 all over 4 plus c. So, that's it for the inverse 
integrals involving inverse trig function. I will see you on the next video para magsagot naman tayo tungkol dun sa hyperbolic trig functions. Uh,